What if I told you there was a better way to make your shockwaves and your fans retain the same width and dimensionality throughout all your props, no matter the size of the props? What if I told you this was only now possible in x 2024.14? You still feel a reason you should be rocking 2023 and earlier versions? I bet I'm about to change your mind. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. Did you dig that cinematic intro? Were you riveted? Were you on the edge of your seat wondering what is this new mystery magical method for making life better in x lights when it pertains to some of these effects that for years, almost nine years for me, that have created more work than I need, than I've wanted. And now I'm gonna get lazy like the rest of the world because this effect enhancement for two, two different effects actually right now, I hope more, we'll talk about that, uh, is what I would consider a game changer in X lights. I use game changer very lightly when I'm talking about enhancements in X lights because it has to be something that uh, solves a problem that we've had for a long time, like Marion Cherry did with uh, rotational symmetries. Uh, that is, was a game changer. And I think this is one of these game changers. And I believe Scott did this. I'd have to look at the release notes. But this is big. You want to see it? Well, then smash that thumbs up for me so I can afford some more coffee today and subscribe to the channel because it helps. I know we're a small community, but it really would help. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed and continue liking the videos. Be sure to drop a message if you don't find value of this and say, gosh, if you could just do this, maybe I would find more value. I don't know. I'll do what I can. Or I'll just reply, you're out of your mind. You're probably going to get that, but be prepared. Let's get going with this. I really love this. Again, I always love when people say, I'm not going to change X Life. It's worked since 2021. Why would I ever update it? Well, if you don't, you're not going to be able to do what I'm about to show you. And this is so simple, so simple. Shockwave and fan effect are two of the effects that you might see a lot of sequencers use in every one of their sequences. You'll probably see shockwaves in every one of my sequences because I like the way it looks. I love being able to use it in conjunction with shaders and other moving effects to create immersive movements that help tell a story to music with lighting. That's just my playground. And one of the challenges with shockwave, one of the challenges is that when you copy and paste the shockwave from one model to another, it never matches. You've got to go in and start playing around with X, or not X, but uh, radiuses and radius two, or you might have to go into your options and adjust acceleration to try to get it to end at the same time. And it's just never been the perfect marriage across models because the buffers are different sizes. And that's all changed. Thank goodness. All right, let's get into this. Let's take a look at this. Before you, I have the wonderful shockwave. And I have this on my tree topper, and this looks great. And I copied and I pasted it and I put it on my all pixels group. So this is gonna this is supposed to fill up the whole house. Well, it doesn't. In order me, in order for me to get this to match what my star is doing, I have to go in and goof around with radius two and uh, width two and I would do it. That's what the sequence called for, and I would do it. I would, could also put it on my matrix. I have a P5 matrix, and this is not filling out the matrix. It's ending a lot sooner. If we compare the two, we see the star up here, and it's just getting a portion of the matrix. No bueno, so I have to go in and mess with it. So I'll drag over the uh, whole house, all pixels group, and now we can sort of get a lay of the land here. And you see there's like three different things going on. They have the same radius. They have the same width. But this is what you get. Then we've got this puppy over here. Here's my mega tree. 
Well, that looks okay. I bring it over and again, everything's sort of doing their own thing. And that's not what I want. So I'm gonna show you something really cool. I am going to remove the, uh, actually I'll leave the treetop in there. I'm gonna take the all pixels and then I'll take the, the uh, matrix. I'll leave the matrix. I'll take the mega tree away. When you click on the effect in the options, there is something brand new. You would click on options. This is where you typically find your acceleration and cycles and blending edges. The new feature is right here, scale to buffer. This is the game changing feature. They should have just called it game changing scale to buffer feature. I'd like to request you do that. You click this button and now what? look what happens on the matrix along with the star. Look how that fills that out all the way to the edges so much better. I'm gonna take these two effects. I'm gonna to go to options. I'm going to right click and hit checked. Now I've changed both of these to be scale to buffer. I'm gonna drag these to the left. I'm gonna drag that to the left. And now we have four shock waves working together on four differently sized buffers and they're starting and ending the way most sequencers would want them to. It's not always this way. Sometimes you want things to be smaller or bigger and have some differentiation. But in this case, this is exactly what I want this to do. And this works beautifully. This is going to be so important to my style of sequencing because I will add in blendings with uh, shaders and spirals and other textures and I rely on the spread of the shock wave to help shape it and resolve. And if I'm doing that on my smaller window matrices and I'm doing that on my large P5 panel, I'd sure like them all to work together and blend in. Now let's look at the fan effect. It offers the same benefits. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna put this on the all pixels group. And you can see here, we get sort of this round shape. Well, I don't want that. I want it to go to the edge. So if I click options and then again, select this scale to buffer, now I've got my whole yard and house. I don't have to go in here and adjust the position. I don't have to go in here and say, well, look, I need my radius two to be bigger because my buffer's bigger because of the all pixels group. So now if I'm happy with this, I can copy this one and put this on my tree topper. Actually, not my tree topper. Let's go with my matrix. There we go. Covering everything up. If I used my original one and put that on the matrix, well, we I don't know what that is. That's pretty weird. That's got a little section sticking out for whatever reason. Uh, but that's not right. So again, just change it. How cool is that? How freaking cool is that? I would say very. Copy this, paste this up here. Maybe I'm going to do a transformation, flip horizontally. Now I've got this. Great. I want to do that on the whole house. Copy these both. Get rid of this one. Put a layer above. Control V. Now I have the same settings and it's covering everything. This, again, it it's a game changer. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. Maybe I'm just going to call it game changer. I don't know. Sounds like clickbait to me, but it is what it is. It's a very, very good enhancement that is uh, very needed in X lights, not just for the sequencers, not just for the vendor sequencers. This is great for people mapping sequences from the past that can spend less time now getting their effects to fill in correctly because we can use bulk edit with this. There are several other uh, effects I would love to see this uh, applied to if possible. Uh, is there a chance we can get it on Ripple, Galaxy, Shape, uh, Spirograph perhaps, Tendril? Maybe this there's a, an area for this to work with text. 
Uh, there's been some enhancements with the text effect that are really, really cool. I'm not going to get into those because I just want to focus on this. I might talk about that next Monday. But I think this is something that has just been needed for so long. It's such a great effect. The fan effect is such a great effect. And so I'm excited. Uh, I hope you're excited about this as well. And I'm going to leave you with this. Go play with 2024.14. This is one of the reasons it's so important to stay updated with the software. It's only August. I don't think you have a show in August. So this is a great time to go ahead and get the newer software, start providing feedback to the devs, what might be a problem so that they can address it. The more of us that use this, the better we will all be. I promise you. All right. I'm Ron. That's all I've got for you. This has been Monday Minutes. We'll catch you next week. See ya.